Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duels. So today is Friday. That means we are using heroes. Yay, masked heroes. Yay, masked heroes get Rota. Some more Rota. Okay, I guess. I guess not. Okay. Alright, so clearly I can go for freaking uh, my damn uh, Shadow. What the fuck? It's called Shadow Mist, right? No, not Shadow Mist. Dark Wall, right? The fuck now. But I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll be chill, okay? I am not in a hurry. You know, so. Heroes, you didn't get you didn't get a shadow some band, but you got rotted to three. I mean, I mean, you know. Actually, yes. What does it say? What does it say? When my opponent searches a card, or when they add a card to their hand, that they shouldn't be adding. Uh, once per turn, if your opponent adds a card from their main deck to your hand, except during the draw phase. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna henshin right in the freaking uh, dark wall right the fuck now. So I can just go ahead and pick a card out of your hand if you don't mind. I thought it was just search, but nope. Apparently it's, uh, I get to just go ahead and rip something out of the fucking hand, because it's totally fair. <laughs> totally fair, just give me that. And then they quit, so wow, it was just foolish. Like, hello, I guess he really needed that foolish. And I guess he couldn't summon anything stronger than my Dark Law without foolish. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel and bear back. Alright, we're back again. Let's try this again. Let's hopefully get a duel long enough for me to be actually able to talk. Because that would be nice if I could actually talk. Uh, if you couldn't open anything, watch it. Get that out of life. That's a special summon. One, uh, the. Yup. Life points don't mean shit. I'll pay 4,000. Damn straight I will. Damn straight I fucking will. Life points don't mean shit. Soul Charge didn't get banned. Did I put Soul Charge in here? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. And you get to listen to a change of music. Okay, my points don't mean shit. I don't give a shit about my life points. Doesn't matter if my life points are at 8,000 or at 100. As long as I drop yours to zero, I win. So right now, at this point, I'd rather pay the life points and get off with my plays than not pay the life points and be hindered by my plays. I mean, I still could have made my plays, but... That's pretty clear that right now the plays are fine. And uh, because you attacked me, of course I will henshin. Like, yeah. Of course. And uh, go ahead and get me. Just blaze? Anyway, let me go ahead and start talking about my day. So, actually, I actually have to tell you guys about uh, both my uh, both my Wednesday and my Thursday. And, of course, the reason for that being um, I didn't get an opportunity to tell you guys about my uh, my Wednesday on Thursday because, of course, the one-year celebration of tagging with Tago, of course. Uh, so, I guess I can go ahead and start with that, you know, how that, how that shit's going. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna take it real slow. I'm not in a hurry. Drastic drop-off. Oh, cute. So cute. Yeah, that card should, you know, because time seal. <clears throat> so, that's a shout-out to freaking Slate right there. Alright, summon just please. You know what I, I really want to do in this deck, but I still haven't had an opportunity to pull off, is pull off, um, uh, fuck, I forgot his name. In bubbly man. Give me the bubbly. Give me the bubbly. wonder if I'm gonna get, like, Mirror Force or something. That'd be interesting. Mirror Force? No. Okay. My point's still at 4,000. That's it. I don't give a shit about my life points. No fucks. So let me tell you, start telling you guys about my Wednesday. So of course Wednesdays I have my education class and I have a uh, women's literature. So uh, my education class walked into class and he was handing out back our quizzes. Uh, what the fuck does he do? This card is drawn down such a graveyard. You can add one counter trap card from your graveyard to your hand. No, that's fine. <laughs> Metamorphosis! You're so cute. 
You're so cute. Every time I turn, every time I turn around, you're doing these cute plays, these kawaii desune plays. No, then sit the fuck down. Finish chain. Hello. Like no, you're not attacking me with a fucking metamorphosized fucking angel wisdom or whatever the fuck it's called. No. Oh, hold on, hold on. I actually have I actually have an interesting play that I want to show you guys with this deck because I, I I just I just put it in here because yeah. So Castell because Castell is fucking just tits, right? Right. Oh, I don't have second mass change. Never mind. I can't do the play. Oh sure. Oh yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Sure. 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 Uh, all I can do is henchining you into you. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's cool though. Every single time I turn around, you're doing these cute ass plays. It's just so cute. As if you're actually trying to fucking scare me or something. I need second mass change. I'm running three of them in the hour here now because fucking second mass change is the tits. But I definitely need second mass change. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! So cute! I'm sorry, I can't control myself. That was just too kawaii. Oh my god, too cute with it. Like, hello? Nah, take it go slow. Go. Uh, anyway, we'll get the quizzes back. We actually took a quiz. It's pretty- the quiz was pretty much vocabulary, you know, it's like, oh, you're gonna take quizzes on chapters one and two, and it was just vocabulary. So, I shit you not, I don't read. As you guys know, I did a video about this previously, so, literally, I did not read those vocabulary words. Not at all, not at all, not at all. So, uh... You gonna do something? Is that a monster? Is that some background? Cool story, bro. Oh my god, I, I, I'm so close to being able to pull off my favorite fucking masked hero up in this bitch. I, that's all I want to do, is just summon my favorite masked hero. That's all I want. If you will allow me that, I will be the happiest person in the world. I just... I want to summon Kamen Rider Double, I mean, Contrast Hero of Chaos. Ouch. Oh, I could have fucking henshined and ran him over. Uh, it's kinda... <laughs> ah, damn it, I'm terrible. I want to henshine into my favorite masked hero, Conscious Hero Chaos. So cool. He's so cool. Mm hmm. I'll change now. The only reason why I'm changing now is just so I'll have the play for, for later. So that's fine. That's fine as well. I'm cool. I swear to god, every single time I turn around, this guy is doing like the cutest plays. Like, oh my god. Oh, another hero lives. Cool. I think I'm actually out of, out of Shadow Mist, aren't I? Out of Dark Loss. Two, three. Yes, I am. Okay, well. I could still fucking attack you though. Go ahead and hit me with some background. I don't care. Okay, not that. Definitely not compulse. Fucking sucks. Alright, I'm Miracle Freezing. I'm gonna fucking do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Didn't want to do it, but you made me do it, so. You. You. You made me fucking do it. I didn't want to fucking go into absolute zero, but you made me go into fucking absolute zero. Hate going into absolute zero like that. I wanted to go for contrast here, but you had to compulse me. I'd rather you mirror force me than fucking compulse me. Let me guess. You got two level fours? No? Okay. He's gonna turn that abyss dweller to defense mode and end your turn? No, you're gonna keep it in attack mode. You got some cojones. Oh, warning, warning, hero lives? Fucking life points don't mean shit, hello? 
Alright, well, if you hit me with back row, then of course I'll leave the field and I'll wipe you. Oh, Electromagic Turtle, forgot about him. Go ahead. Uh, life points don't mean shit. I'll warning you, I'll hero lives you, I'll. I'll. everything you. No, that's fine. Did you, did you top deck? Did, did you top deck? No, that's fine. I like when you neg. Actually, that's more zeroing out, but still. You got the wiretap? Oh, yes, you do! Wow, alright, you got that. GG. GG. Nice luck. Nice luck. You got lucky this entire duel. It's cool, though. It's cool. Cool story, bro. You got it. It's cool. I'm not even salty. Let's go ahead and get another duel in. They're back. Anyway, getting the quiz back, uh, you know, you'd think that I would do terrible or fail or something. Uh, I got 100%. I'm, I, like I said, the quiz was not was not that difficult. Not even remotely that difficult. Oh well, yeah, I'll pay half my life points. Oh fucking yeah. Yes. No. Get me match change second. I wanted match change second last duel and I didn't fucking get it, so go ahead and give that to me. Uh I'll say you. And I'll set you. And pass my turn. Anyway, uh, class was just norm. We actually took another quiz. And the quiz was pretty much just as easy. I swear to God, just as easy. Allow me to Henshin. Henshin. Common Lego. Dark Law. Yes. Uh, I guess get me the bubbly. Wow. That was seriously some anticlimactic shit. I really thought he was gonna fucking just wail on my ass, but nope. I just said pass. Okay. Cool story, bro. Look at how, I, I, look, I can bust out the fucking mass here, I just need a fucking miracle fusion up in here. Oh, you don't want to drop the gores? No gores? That makes me sad. I really wanted gores up in here. It's fine, go ahead. So, if you're wondering what class it is, that's actually uh, Amish girl. And once again, I feel like... She's a nice friend. But I, I really do not see me ever getting with that girl because we're like total, total, like, you know, the difference between black and white is not a lot. Okay, I guess you literally didn't do anything. You you played MST and then played nothing this entire duel. GG. I don't even like that. I feel gross for even saying that. I mean, I guess it's nicer to say GG than just not say anything at all, but that wasn't GG. All you did was MST. Something that was chainable. You literally did nothing. You did 4,000 damage to me. I did 4,000 damage to me. Hello? One more duel. One more duel. Bear back. Alright. Let's try this again. More duel time. So, like I said, I'm just not really physically attracted to her. I don't know what it is. I'm just not. She's just not... Yeah. I don't know. I thought I liked her. She's, she's she, Like I said, she's just not the same girl... That I met in the first day. On the first day, she was so down to earth and chill. Now, since I'm getting to know her better, she's so annoying. Like I said, the difference between black and white, you know. She's a white girl who wears a lot of color and a lot of energy. And I'm a black guy who wears all black and white. And is mostly really depressing. So, yeah. Get slurped. <laughs> Fuck out my face. Ah, uh, what? I couldn't activate during th anything during the end phase. Hello? Why can't I activate anything during the end phase? I right, just do it now then. I wanted to activate something during the end phase. I wanted to activate a uh, mass change during the end phase. Oh.
Mm-hmm. Uh, give me the bubbly. Give me the bubbly. It sounds like I'm talking about, like, alcohol or something. Give me the bubbly. Yeah, banish two JDs. And as soon as you try to add those fuckers to your hand, I'm gonna rip them the fuck out. You take that 24, I'll set this bottomless and pass to you. Ah. <sighs> anyway, like I said, she, she's just, she acts like a child. And I know, uh, and, you know, I'm not looking, even if, even if I wanted her to be my girlfriend, I'm not looking for a child. I'm not looking for a girlfriend to be a, ch my, a fucking child. Definitely not. So, like I said, I'm just not really attracted to, why the fuck do I have Bubble Man? I swear to God, I guess, or... Absolute zero, I guess? I don't know. These bubble men seem so fucking useless in here. Run flip up Rekka. So I can finish train him. I'm not gonna attack him, because of course I can't really finish train during the damage step, so I'll just wait until you flip him. I'm chill. I'm chill as fuck. Yep. Rekka. Oh, I don't have freaking fiendish. I thought I did. Hello, I need to get my fucking card straight. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't have Fiendish. I have Deep Prison. I, I mixed up my Deep Prison with Fiendish. I was like, oh, I have Fiendish. No, I don't. No, I fucking don't. No, I fucking don't. Thought I did. Didn't. Like, hello? Yep, there's a wolf. No, I'm going bottomless wolf. I don't give a shit about wolf. Oh, Miracle Fusion. Why? Why did you have to show up now? I guess. What is it? Miracle Fusion from your side of the field or a graveyard. Man. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Absolute zero. Man, that sucks. I really, like, I really, really, really wanted to keep that Miracle Fusion for a little while. I, I wanted some contrast here. I still haven't been able to summon him. Yeah, he's so good, but he's just really hard to get out. Really super extremely hard. Man, I'm fucking deep prison. I swear to God, deep prison is not good right now. Why the fuck are your dragon rulers? Hello? I have not seen any dragon rulers being played by you yet. They're, they must be in your hand, right? Go ahead. Banish two. Banish two. Or your dragon ruler. Get those two. Summon the JD. I'm gonna bottomless one of them. And then, there you go. Do exactly what I want you to do. Fucking little puppet. Bitch. No, it's fine. I don't, I don't even care about Blaster. I give no fucks about fucking Blaster. I know you have more than enough Light Sworn. You have one, two, three. Oh, there's four right there. I'm staring at them right now. Let me guess. You're going to try to take the Blaster and attack over my absolute zero, correct? That's cute. That's cute. Diablos 2? Uh... Yeah, I'm on with him. I said, if you want to get rid of my absolute zero, you're gonna to have to give me a JD, please. I don't like aggressive decks like his, like this. You're gonna get slept up by the fucking D prison, which I thought was a fiendish chain, but it's actually a D prison. Get the fuck out of my face, Blaster. I said, if you want to fucking take down my absolute zero, give me a JD. 
We're about to have fucking Full Metal Alchemist equivalent exchange up in this bitch. Hello? Oh. Never mind, guess not. Thought we were. Guess not. Oh, at least you can't attack me. And I don't get my effect. That sucks. <sighs> yeah, he might have this. I'm starting to run out of resources. Like I said, this deck has problems with authority figures. Yeah, I can't be destroyed by battle, but I can still be destroyed by card effect. Still be destroyed by card effect. That's the problem. I don't even have something to fucking discard either. I have like nothing. Nope, I have nothing. Yeah, you got this. Ah, at least I'll give you the satisfaction of beating me. I'm the bubbly. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go for you. I've been anticipating him to have that in his hand, but it's cool. I said, you got it. What I was trying to do, if I had one more card in my hand, is I could mash change second into uh, Kamikaze. So that's one way, instead of you know, people screaming about screaming into Stratos, I can just cast that into Kamikaze. Alright, so JD, summon JD, wipe the field, summon JD, summon something else, OTK, GG, got it. Cool story, bro. Light swords are skillish trash. They took no skill. JD is stupid. Will there be hit? Got it. So that's not good. It's too luck based to be good. It can beat you in one round, but once you. It, it can't side. It can't side. This deck cannot side at all. Because it'll mill its side, therefore it doesn't have a side. Your satisfaction to be to me. You got lucky. It's cool. Cool story, bruh. Cool story, bruh. I face Light Swords way too much. Like, what's up with everybody playing Light Swords? They must think that's the best. That's the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh or something. I don't know. I face that deck way too fucking much. Anyway. Uh, I'm not even done talking about Wednesday, I know, now you talk about Thursday. I don't think I'll be able to talk about Thursday. Oh, fuck, when am I going to be able to talk about Thursday? Shit, I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to have to sit here and talk real quick. No, I can't, I can't. I'm going to have to save it till another day. I literally am. I, I can't. I can't am. Fuck. Ugh. Damn. I really wanted to, but this video would be super long if I did. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm not really liking Amish girl. I'm just not really into her. She's too immature. She's a child, and you know I'm looking for a woman. So, no, thank you. Uh, of course, uh, I had uh, women's literature. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to summarize. I'm gonna try to do it real quick. All right, women's literature. Uh, of course, that's a movie girl, and we are not talking anymore. Uh, you know, we we are not friends, we are not acquaintances. So yeah, we have some mutual people that we know. So you know, as long as we don't stare at each other, really make eye contact. You know, uh, freaking teacher is weird once again. So we walk into class, you know, and people try to sit in their usual seats, but the teacher decides to be a freaking douche and decides to just block off the entire left side of the damn room. So and where does want my seat? Fucking left hand side of the room. So he literally had his fucking feet on my desk. I'm like. He's like, go sit somewhere else. I'm sick and tired of you guys fucking sitting in the same seat every class. Like, fine. So, uh, I go over and I sit in uh, the same row that movie girl's in, but I'm associated with her, of course. Uh, then the girl who's in between me and uh, movie girl sits and goes into another seat and she talks to me. She's like, you know you can move up. And if I would move up, of course, I'd be sitting right behind movie girl. So I'm like, 
No, thank you. I'm good. Why? Why move up and sit behind her? Why? So she can think that I'm fucking stalking her, smothering her, trying to sniff her hair? No, thank you. I'm good. I don't need to sit near her. I'll, I'm fine where I'm at. No, I'm, I don't care. So we finished the movie. Uh, the movie we watched was Salt. It was a pretty good movie. We finished it. And uh, we didn't have to write an essay about it because uh, uh, it was about the creator and destroyer. He wants us to combine the essay of the creator and destroyer and the lover and seductress. So we're going to be watching another movie next week. And we're going to be learning about the lover and seductress and then write another essay, which is totally fine. I don't mind that. Another two-page essay. BS that. Probably get another B. Like I said, I don't even care about what grade I get. As long as I pass. Like, it's not even a serious class. So, yeah. That was uh, my uh, Wednesday. I'm going to quickly get through Thursday. So, Thursday. Um... As you guys know, you guys might know if you watch it, I said that I didn't have class on Thursday for women's study, and I was happy about that, right? I was wrong. She, there's no class on Thursday, October the 2nd. <laughs> I did not realize this until a half an hour of class, well, not a, no, I didn't realize it till like maybe like 15 minutes after class had started. So I was literally just sitting in, in at my house just chilling, and I checked Canvas, and I was like, Oh, October the 2nd. Fuck. <laughs> so I freaking quickly just got dressed, hopped in the car, and uh, drove down there. I made it, I was a half an hour late for class, but I still made it. I still got to sign the attendance sheet, so I, technically I wasn't even late. But uh, yeah, women's studies. Now we're talking about talking about discrimination of class. So, you know, what, what, are you mid, mid middle class, low class, whatever? Blah, blah, blah. Class is just bleh. Um, and of course, you know, uh, the girl that I'm supposed to be talking to in that class is approachable girl. So she was there today. She was. Of course, I, my plan was to talk to her before class, you know, see if she would come and talk to me before class. But of course, that failed because I'm an idiot. So of course, sure enough, I have an hour late. I saw her sitting in class. I sat in my seat. She was in her seat, of course, in the back of the room. Well, I'm like close -ish to the front of the room. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like the second row. Um, so we got to class class ends and of course here's the test so pretty much if she was interested in me either as a friend or as you know interested in me like maybe didn't know me she would clearly you know stay after class and you know walk with me she doesn't have anything else to do you know so she would probably just you know chill with me right uh no that is not the case class ends and she darts out the damn door like I think she was actually the first person out the door like I turn around and look and she's gone like down the hall by the time I fucking stand up out of my damn chair. I'm like, okay, so she doesn't call or text me. She, uh, she doesn't want to talk to me. It's pretty clear that she only took my number to be nice and she's not interested. I'm not going to chase after her. I'm not going to chase clearly because I'm not into that. And I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just going to leave it alone. So there we go. So that's done. So at this point, I have no more baskets to put my eggs in at this point, right? Right. So, uh, since, uh, class and she was gone i was gonna i was thinking about you know seeing what's up but no so stopped after class talked to the teacher sign in for the attendance because i was late and then for some odd reason the teacher grades this feminine paper that i did and she gave me a check plus which is pretty much like 100 percent right but if you go on canvas and you check grades she gave me a zero i'm like what's up with that she's like oh yeah i'll fix it i'll fix it like good because that's not fair like I don't care if you're a feminist lesbian. You can't freaking give me zeros on assignments just because I'm a man and you hate men. It doesn't work like that. Stop. All right? You're being sexist. You're being sexist. She's being sexist. I'm a woman, a liberal <laughs> lesbian. I'm good with you. She's a feminist lesbian. Hello? Anyway, class ends. Uh, go ahead and head over to a uh, calculus class where I have a calculus test. And as you guys know... I've been trying to talk to Calculus Girl, trying to talk to her, and I really never had an opportunity to. Give me so, your shoes. Why do, why? I need to go outside. What? Really? I'm in the middle of the recording video and you want to steal my shoes? Yeah. Just like a black woman. Shut up, at least I'm going to give them back. <laughs> I didn't ask for how, do I, how do I know that? Yeah. If my shoes had shoe strings, you'd probably tie them together and throw them over a freaking, uh, a phone I'm gonna go sell them for crack. You gonna sell my shoes for crack? Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I ain't gonna share with you. Damn, you're not even gonna share the crack with Hell me? No. But they're my shoes. No, I don't care. Oh my god. Look, uh, look at my mom. She won't even freaking share the crack that she's gonna <laughs> purchase with you selling my shoes. Hello. <laughs> anyway, let me fucking finish. So, of course, you know I've been trying to talk to 
Calculus Girl, because, you know, that's her, that's the name that I'm going to give her, Calculus Girl. Um, so we get into class, calculus class, we have a calculus test, and we have to turn in our calculus homework. So I'm sitting here, uh, I sit near her, like, she, I sit in row, okay, let's say I sit in row two, she sits in row one, and we're not directly across from each other, she's one seat ahead of me, so the person sitting across from me, next to me, I'm going to see ahead of that, right? So she's working on her calculus homework, and, uh, you know, me being the nice gentleman I am, I go ahead and offer her some help. I'm like, oh, can you, do you need any help with the calculus homework? You know, like, you need any help? She's like, oh, yeah, I need help with number, with, uh, letter C. I almost said number C. Oh, God. <laughs> I need help with letter C. And it's just like, okay, so I'll go ahead and show her how to do, uh, letter C, and then, uh, we turn in the homework. Uh, you know, I collect, I, I collect her homework, my homework, and then the guy next to me homework. Just to, you know, you know, try to be a gentleman, but, you know, not trying to be just creepy like, oh, give me your homework so I can sniff it. No. <laughs> Creeper status. <What>? Hello? <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> so. Damn. So. Uh, we begin the calculus test. Uh, we have an in-class part and a take-home part. The take-home part, pretty much homework. So instead of having home calculus homework this week, uh, we have the calculus test, and we do our take-home part. Uh, so she hands out the calculus test, and she hands out the this uh, pretty much a formula worksheet, um, and uh, you have two hours all class to work on it, right? And she does something different and interesting that I really like, and I'll I'll probably do when I become a math teacher, because she really inspired me to do this, but when the test was over, when you're handing in your test, you can actually check your answers. You can't change your answers, but you can check your answers and compare, and you can know what you got right, right? So that's really cool, because then you can have, you know, a piece at heart where you can either know, oh, I did really great, or I, re I did really bad. It's all about your shoes, but you don't get that. <laughs> I didn't know you... I, how do you smoke? I don't know how you do crack. I I, I know don't no, worry about it. I know nothing about drugs. Don't worry. <laughs> so you eat it. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you do crack. Anyway, <laughs> again, you're distracting me. I'm trying to finish this damn story. So I got in this fucking video. Anyway, uh, so I I do my calculus test. Uh. No big surprise, I'm actually the first one done, because, you know, some people, they love to sit there and check their problems two, three, four, five times. I'm like, if I didn't get it right the first time, maybe the second, <laughs> maybe the second time, but I doubt it. So, uh, I, she gives us a couple problems, and she gives us three extra credit problems. Uh, I get the first extra credit problem, but I do not know how to do the other two. The other two t took a way too much thinking, and I just, I didn't know what to, I didn't know where to go with it. So, I was like, no, no thank you. So, uh, I do the first extra credit problem. So, I'm the first one done. I turn in my calculus test, and of course, I check my answers, and I'm like, right, 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 right. Then there's this one problem where I looked at it, and I looked at her paper, and I'm like, I didn't get this answer. And I look, I'm looking down her paper, and I'm like, you messed up right here. And it messed all this up. And she looked over, and she's like, oh, yeah, you're right. So, once again, I corrected the teacher again. This is like the second time, you know. You get the calculus, you get the algebra, but then it's time to clean it all up and do simple arithmetic. She messed up. She messed up. <laughs> so, um, I corrected her, and I got that problem right. And I ended up getting 100%, and I got 10 points extra credit for getting that one extra credit problem. So I got 110% on my calculus text. Like, hello? <laughs> hello. I know, so awesome. Shut up! Stop mocking me! <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, 110%. I finished in, in like an hour. So, uh, I, I sat outside, and I, I, I definitely wanted to take this opportunity to talk to her more. You know, I already kind of broke the ice. She already knows I exist, so let me go ahead and, you know, actually introduce myself. So, I sit and chill, wait, <laughs> uh, refresh my phone, saw the ban list, and I was like, hmm, okay, ban list. Interesting, I'll be doing a video about that later today. Um, well, later today, as in Thursday. It should, the, my ban list response thing should already be up by the time you watch this video. Anyway, um, so I shouldn't wait about maybe like a half an hour. Finally, she walks out of class. And sitting down in our seats, she looks about my height. You know, I was actually kind of worried that, you know, she would be too tall for me. Because, you know, I'm worried about girls being too tall because I'm not that tall myself. So I was kind of worried about that. 
So this is actually the first time I actually got to see her standing up. So as soon as she walked out to class, I'm like, oh, how'd you do? And we started talking and I was like, oh, it's cool. I walk you to your car. And she's like, oh yeah, that's fine. So I stand up and I'm, I'm towering over her. Like she's pretty much like approachable girl's height, like short, uh, you know, but uh, uh, the good thing about her, and I don't know how many times I say it, out of all the girls that I've flirted with so far, she at least has bo boobles. So she, boobies? she has boobies. So I, don't, I like that. <laughs> so uh, this is the way I'm. It was, it was a cool idea, but it was a stupid idea. So calculus class is in the B building. I parked near the B building, so when I leave my calculus class, I can just hop in my car and drive home, right? So I decided to go ahead and walk her to her car. She parked all the way near the L building, across campus. So, me being the nice guy I am, trying to get to know her better, I decided to walk her to her car, all the way across campus to the L building. So, when I, we get in her car, I'm like, you know what, let me get your number. Let me get your number. I'm not gonna give girls my number anymore, cause it doesn't fucking work. Yeah, so, let me get your number. So she gave me her number, and I text her, and I send her my number. I'm like, you know, we can always text, call or text me whenever, or we can just talk about math or whatever if you need help, right? She's trying to get to know her better, right? And uh, she gets in her car, and she drives off, right? Now, remember how long, it was a long walk to walk her to her car. Now I gotta walk all the way back. <laughs> all the way back across campus. I'm freaking sitting here fucking dehydrated as hell just to get in my hot ass car and drive the hot ass drive all the way back home. Ugh, the struggles were real, but I guess it was worth it because I got her number. So, you know, uh, I, hey, I got a calculus girl's number. So, you know, hopefully I'm, I, I'm not sure if she has a boyfriend. I didn't ask her about it. She probably does how cute she looks but like i said this is look i think this might be the last basket yeah this is gonna be the last basket like i say if she, if she if she's not interested or if she has a boyfriend i'm i'm gonna stop ch I'm trying to chase i'm i'm gonna be done i'm tired i'm tired <laughs> yeah yeah i am i'm tired i'm done yeah i have a love i love my Yu-Gi-Oh. i love Yu Gi Oh, and i love my subscribers that's, that's all i need i don't need a girlfriend i got i got Yu Gi Oh. you know what i didn't want to pitch it at <laughs> Uh, so, so, you know, I'll probably give some time to clock and, you know, I can always just, you know, text her and be like, uh, uh, you know, how are you doing on the, uh, the math, take home math test, you know, spark a conversation, you know, maybe we can, uh, stay after, stay after class together and work on it together, you know, so find just a reason to spend time with her. So, yeah. We made a chilies and go over there. Yeah, exactly. We can do a lot of things, so. Based on math. Yeah. Okay, you can help me. Alright, so, uh, that's it. I told you about Wednesday, I told you on Thursday, this video is hella long, but I had to do it because if I didn't, I would not have an opportunity to tell you guys because, like I said, we move on. Like I said, tomorrow you guys get to double tag, can't talk to you then, and then of course it's Donzi, then it's Sooner, and then turn around and I gotta tell you about my, my, my Monday and Tuesday, so there is no time to not tell you about that, to skip. You know, I, I'd just be falling too far behind. So definitely had to tell you guys here. I apologize, but I know some of you guys definitely like to hear about my daily duels. Sorry, I apologize. I probably could have got more duels, but like I said, if I got more duels, I'd just be distracted. So definitely just had to go ahead and talk, give you guys the the just the log, not even a duel, just the log. You all you guys get to look at this screen. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call that an episode. I apologize for this video being long. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Of course. Tomorrow's the devil, so not only will be owning with them like a chaos part, whatever, but we'll also be uh, slaying with slate part, whatever, and I will be asking them what they think about the ban list. They both put up uh, their own ban list videos, which I'll probably be linking in the description, but I just want to, you know, discuss it with them, and, uh, you know, yeah. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with that. Thanks for watching. Using Heraldics.